Hey Virgo, what's up Virgo? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to be your November collective reading, moon love reading. This will be for Virgo placements. So Virgo, Sun, Moon Rising, also Venus, or wherever you guys have Virgo in your chart. Do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Virgos out there. Alrighty, so let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Um, just a quick announcement, or two quick announcements. The 2024 year-round reading is available on both websites, fireintuition.com and mytearshaphealmyheart.com. Alrighty, um, the information is pinned in the description box below. Also, um, sorry, pinned in the comments below and also in the description box below. And then the November box is now available. I did bring back the Create Your Own box because you guys have been asking me to bring it back. So I decided to bring that back for November. So both from my online store if you guys are interested. Alrighty. Um, with that being said, let's hop into your reading, Virgo, and see what's going on with you guys. Let's see who's coming towards you and why. Alrighty. And spirit, please guide me through this weekend for Virgo placements. What do they need to know in here when it comes to love life? Virgo placements. All right, so let's see who is coming towards you, Virgo. Who's coming towards Virgo in love? Who's coming towards Virgo in love? We have the two of cups. Okay. Let's see why this person is coming towards you. We have the six of pentacles. What are your current feelings towards this person? We have the Knight of Wands. All right. What is this person's current feelings towards you? The Star in Reverse. Okay. Um, their future intentions, Eight of Cups. Well, their current intentions are Eight of Cups. And the potential outcome is the Six of Swords. At the bottom, we do have the Six of Wands. So let's see what's going on, Virgo. Okay, because I do see the Two of Cups. Okay, I do see a soulmate connection. I do see, you know, the Six of Pentacles um, where somebody is ready to give to the relationship. And I feel like that's you, Virgo. You're finally ready to give. Um, how you are feeling towards this person is a Knight of Wands. So definitely wanting to take action here. And the reason why I say you is because we have the star in reverse for how your person feels. And they feel like there are some unresolved issues between you guys. They feel like there is some healing that is needed. They feel like you guys, um, you know, could be very negative. Maybe focus on the past. Maybe bringing up the past a lot. Because in their last few cards with you, we have the Star Reverse, Eight of Cups, and the Six of Swords. So this is somebody like, you know what, like, I'm going to move on. It's time for me to heal. Um, it's time for me to move on from this situation. Like, I just can no longer support this. I'm not, this is not something I want anymore. So... I mean, it could be interchangeable. This could be interchangeable, Virgo. Don't get me wrong, but you guys know I have to read it how I see it, okay? So for some of you guys, um, it looks like you guys are finally ready to give into a relationship or somebody and they're just not feeling the same way, okay? So, um, yeah. So let's see, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. Let's see who's coming towards you. We do have the two of cups here. Soulmate energy. This is somebody that does have mutual feelings. Or you guys like each other, you know, a lot. But even though I know I said mutual feelings, it's like somebody's, you know, their feelings have changed. So, I don't know. Let's see. Virgo placements. Let's see. Two of cups here. Why is the two of cups here for Virgo? So you pay the pentacles in reverse. So, yes. So, it's like somebody is not interested, Virgo. Or like somebody is just like, this isn't going to work out for me. We have the hey man in reverse. This is, yeah, it's Pisces energy. Releasing, letting go, surrendering. Okay. So, it looks like at one point in time, you know, somebody was feeling this. You know, you guys have mutual feelings. The Knight of Swords is here. I don't, this is like interesting because somebody is like, look, I'm trying to get the fuck on. So, I don't know, Virgo. Like I said, this could be interchangeable. But, you know, I have to be honest with you guys and tell you guys what I see. Um, we do have the Seven of Swords coming up in reverse. So, Seven of Swords in reverse is usually somebody confessing or coming clean. But, in this case, I feel like somebody is lying to you guys, okay? And they're lying to you about either, like, wanting to see you or be around you, Okay?
So let's see what the Seven of Swords is going to look for me first. The Page of Wands. The Moon. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Their, their, their feelings towards you are like, uh. Because it's like somebody was excited to see you and come around. Um, it looks like they did want to work things out or they were excited to, like, you know, reconnect with you. And then it's like something has this changed. Like their feelings have changed. Let me see. Why have to play the Pentacles in reverse? The Death card in reverse. Yeah, this was them coming back to higher font. Yeah, so somebody was definitely trying to come back and work on this relationship. But they're just like, they don't want to do that anymore. Because it's kind of like what they thought was going to work out or what they thought was a good idea or whatever they thought is like they're thinking opposite of that now. And then for others of you, that's because they are going back to somebody and they just feel like what you guys have isn't working out anymore. Okay, Virgo. Um, the Page of Pentacles um, in reverse is also somebody that, you know, they don't commit. Okay, they don't. You can't like when the Page of Pentacles is in reverse. Yeah, you don't take that person serious. They don't commit. They're not loyal. So they can feel like that towards you, like, oh, you're not loyal. Now, for some of you guys, um, just a few, um, your spirituality or something that you do, it scares them and makes them nervous, okay? Or maybe the fact that you're into certain things or you do certain things, but that's only going to be for a few of you guys. Let's see how the Six of Pentacles is here. This is why they're coming towards you. So, I mean, that's interesting because the Six of Pentacles is like, you know, balance, equal give and take, like ready to give to the relationship, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, making and putting in the effort. Hmm. Look, see, that's what I'm saying. So somebody came back and was like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to work it out. Or whatever was bothering you guys. Like, look, we're no, not, we're no longer going to worry about it. We're not going to stress about it. Let's get back together. Let's work it out. This person is like, I want to make and put energy and effort into, you know, like I want to put energy and effort into the relationship. But then we have the higher font in reverse. So... Mm. This is an interesting one, Virgo. The higher font reverse is an open relationship. Okay, so let's see why the higher fonts are reverse. We have the tower. So I also feel like Virgo, they could have been upset because maybe they were trying to come back and work things out with you, and you were like, you know what? I don't want a commitment right now. I want an open relationship. And that can be what it is, too. Just looking at the cards, how we got the higher font to the higher font reverse. Yeah, like they could have been like, you know what, let's let's do this, let's come together, and maybe you change your mind and told them that you prefer an open relationship instead. But I also see like some type of abrupt ending, like something that's ending out of nowhere, or things that's coming to an ending out of nowhere. So let's see, Knight of Wands is in your feelings towards them, though. So let's see why the Knight of Wands is in your feelings towards them. We have the Four of Pentacles. So yeah, at first you were holding back. It looks like Virgo, and then it's like you decided to move forward. This seems very scattered. Yeah, we have the Fool here, Five of Swords. So you guys were thinking about starting over. This there was some type of new beginning. Are you were like you know what? Let's start over. But then there were some arguments, some conflicts, some disagreements between you guys. Or it seems like what you wanted, they didn't want because the Five of Swords is still a card of communication. It's just like how the communication is coming out. You know, like so you're upset, or they're upset, or you guys aren't agreeing with something that was said somebody feels like look you're not about to stress me out you're too hostile you do this you're doing that five of swords is also somebody like quick to just walk away like no well fuck it i'll just walk away then i don't have time for that yeah the nine of wands is in reverse so this is also somebody drained fatigued just tired so it could be that maybe you know you or this person are both tired of the back and forth the arguing the disagreement stuff like that just the conflict between you guys okay so i it just yeah, Virgo, this seems very, like, it's very scattered. And it's like, I feel like one minute you guys didn't want something, and then you did. And now that you want this, they don't want that. I mean, they don't want this. So, we have the Three of Swords, some Heartbreak, Three of Wands, the Star Reverse. So, that's in their feelings towards you. So, I do feel like there is, you know, like I said, some unresolved issues. There's some healing that needs to be done. There's some sadness. There's some hurt. There's some pain. There could be some crying. You know, maybe, you know, you thought you wanted this back, but you don't. And you got them thinking like, oh, you guys are going to work work it out and come back together. And now you don't want this. So now they change their feelings and change their mind and change how they feel about it. But let's see. Let's go into their feelings towards you because we have the star in reverse. Could be the most Aquarius. All right. So we have double Taurus. We have Pisces, um, Scorpio. Could be any sign though. But let's see. We have the star in reverse. Why is the star in reverse? The moon. Yeah, see more Pisces energy. So how your person feels, they feel like they're 
it's still some some issues or certain things that are bothering you and that you don't want to confront them like or if you if they say something or if you confront them and they bring them up then you get mad or you get upset about it because the moon is mixed emotions and feelings and i'm just saying that off of the five of swords so they just feel like there's just a lot of like hidden feelings and stuff like that or one minute you're cool and you want to move forward and then the next minute you don't you know one minute maybe for some of you guys you're forgiving them and the next minute you're bringing up something they did in the past or something like that yeah we have the ten of cups so and their feelings they i mean in their feelings towards you they see you as like wanting this and they wanted it too but then they feel like you just switch and change up like oh one minute you're saying you want this now you don't okay so let's see yeah the devil is here so you know virgo y'all do have some healing to do or y'all do need to work through some type of energy here we do have the moon we have the devil okay so this is definitely like triggers this is somebody that is like very triggered by something you know they get stressed they they get depressed they're triggered they're mad they're upset the ten of cups in between these cards is telling me like there's something that you want this person to do or to give you it's something that you want with them that maybe they're not offering or giving you and it's making you upset but at the same time you want this person it's like you want it to work out but you can't seem to get through whatever is bothering you it could be some healing from a previous relationship you know whatever it is is but yeah this i see some triggers here we have the devil we have the two of swords yeah this is you kind of torn just not knowing you know one minute you want this and the next minute you don't so this is in their feelings towards you and this is how they are seeing them viewing you guys they are seeing them viewing you guys as somebody that just you know like one minute you want this and you're happy and you're in the ten of cups and the next minute you don't want this and you're sad or you're depressed or you know you don't want to be with them or they may feel like it's fear holding you back with the devil that you're stuck in your ways or they may also feel like you have toxic ways and flaws about you but you don't want to talk about that or address that you know so yeah that can be that too they may feel like you think that not that you're better than them but when it comes to certain things that oh they need to do this this and that but you're not focusing on like what you need to do as well so it's kind of like this person is like you know what i just changed my mind then like obviously it's not going to work out because in their intentions are walking away six of swords potential outcome so let's see let's pull some love messages for you um virgo and your person let's see love messages for virgo's person We have entertainment, keeping in touch. So that's what I'm saying, Virgo. It's telling me you want this. This person keeps in touch. But some of you guys want this but act like you don't. But I also really feel like there is some healing that needs to be done. The star is in reverse. Maybe with the devil here, this is some fear. You fear that they're not going to ever, you know, give you what you want. Let me see. We have scared. Yes, yeah, someone is scared to open up. So that would make a lot of sense. We have side piece. And then we have romance. Your emotional, your emotional needs will be met in this connection. Some of you guys are a third party in this situation. But for others of you, there was a third party. And that can be why you feel the way you feel with the side piece card. Let's see. Three of pentacles. There could have been some type of situation at work. Maybe you guys work together. You could have found out about them messing around with somebody at work. The high priestess is here. Some of you guys know something too. Like you know something and you're not telling them. And whatever you know, you haven't told them. But you're reacting off how whatever you know how it made you feel i hope that makes sense yeah and that can be another reason why you don't want to move it forward with them four of swords yeah you really just need a break you need you need some a peace of mind so for some of you virgo you found out something or you know something i feel like you don't have all the details but i feel like whatever you know that's like that, that's how you're treating that like however you're treating a person you're basing it off what you know or something that you found out or have like some information or details to i don't i don't think you have all the details but I feel like for some of you guys, it's like you know something or you sent something. You could have found this out or ever since you found out about this other person, you've been kind of feeling like this towards them. But like I said, wanting this, but just treating them a certain way. So let's see. Going to the side piece card one more time. We have, shh, there are, there are no words that can explain how you will feel, enjoy this feeling. So for some of you guys, you are the third party. For others of you, you feel like... Um, like you're really hurt because of whatever you found out with the third party perfectly imperfect allow this connection to establish its own vibe so yeah some of you guys are upset because they got really close with this person so you're just like damn like you guys were that cool like you really did this to me and then for others of you you are the third party and it's bothering you 
and they're trying to come towards you and be with you, but you're pushing it away. And now they're changing their mind. Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? We have Nine of Pentacles. So if this is in their intentions, they're like, fuck it, I'll just be single then. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. The Death card. Yeah, that's them leaving you alone. Um, for some of you guys, you're telling them that you need to focus on your career and stuff like that. They're hoping that you guys can work it out and get back together. But for right now, it's like they're walking away. They're just going to end it and walk away for right now. And they're, they're going to wait for you to reach out to them. Could be a fire sign. Yeah. So you're not going to get much communication out of them though, Virgo. If you guys talk or reconnect, it will be because you're reaching out. Okay. They're going to wait for you to reach out to them. They're going to give you time. For some of you guys, they're just doing what you're asking because you told them that you want you want to be single. You want to focus on your career. you rather be happy. They don't make you happy or something like that. So they're giving you your space and your time. But if you guys are ready to reach out or want to reach out to them, then, you know, they'll answer the call. But they're going to leave it up to you. Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah, I see the Queen of Swords in reverse. There was somebody that came in between you guys. Yep. The Queen of Swords is in reverse with the Five of uh, Cups. So this is you, like, very sad, needing to heal. Yeah. See, something happened in the past. So this is past energy here. So something happened in the past that had you really sad. And you wanted them to come back and they came back and you guys are trying to work on the relationship. But it's really hard for you to work on it because you guys are still stuck in the past or not over the past. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. You feel very hurt and betrayed by them. And it's like, like I said, even though you want it, a part of you is like the nerve of you. Like you're coming back trying to start something up. But I just feel like, Virgo, you're not expressing yourself fully to this person and letting them know how you feel because um they think that every or they thought everything was fine you know but obviously it's not because i do see where you guys are stuck in the past or stuck on the situation you know or just hurt over the situation you know and um yeah We got the ghosted card that came out. Somebody's going to feel some type of way because you got ghosted in party. So somebody just feels like, dang, like it's easy for you to just go out, have fun and do things and not worry about the relationship and how I feel. Yeah. Well, somebody is going to go out and like party and do their thing because they are kind of tired and fed up with whatever is going on or just everything that's going on. Yeah. Then the person that is walking away. Man. Yeah. We have romantic feelings. They still have feelings for you. We have roll the dice. Soulmate. Why is roll the dice here? Not the pentacles. Hmm. Two of pentacles, yeah. I just feel like it has something to do with whatever you guys found out. I'm listening to my guides now. I love you is in reverse. So I feel like you guys do love them, but maybe this matter them. We have signs and synchronicity. So some of you guys could be seeing like, you know, um, numbers, names. Text me, call me. I told you they're waiting. They're going to wait for your call. Your energy is sexy, and then we have liquid courage. So remember I told you with the party, and somebody has been, like, partying, drinking more. Um, they're going to start going out because somebody is, like, hurt. They're in their feelings, you know, um, about the situation. Your energy is sexy, let's see. Well, not, not right now it's not. Look, because we got your energy is sexy, and we got it with the five of wands. So... 
like I said, I feel like this person is still attracted to you and want you, but I just feel like lately there's just been a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. There's just been a lot of stuff going on. So that's why they're choosing to walk away. And they feel like when you're ready, call them or text them. You know, like, look, whenever you're ready, they're leaving it up to you. Alrighty. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys love to book with me, you already know, fireintuition.com. Bye, Virgo.